in March. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I'll also pull clarifying cards on each of the cards for you, Libra, as well. So Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing a fruitful beginning to a new project, a new endeavor, perhaps a new relationship. I feel like it has something to do with your finances, Libra, since you have two pentacle cards here. And then King of Swords in the middle, I'm oscillating between saying that this is your energy. I feel like it's both your energy internally and also somebody in your immediate environment that you're dealing with on an everyday basis. So an air sign male, probably if it's somebody other than you, that has a differing opinion, that has something to say about this new project that you're coming out of February having worked on and with renewed vigor, new ideas, new ideas to make money, maybe a hobby turning into a cottage business uh, based from your home here with the Ten of Pentacles. Or maybe through February there is an ending of a job and you're about to start a new one here. And with the King of Swords, I'll pull clarifiers. Yeah, I feel like he is contrary to, there you go, the Five of Swords on the King of Swords reverse. He's kind of being an asshole. Um, and he's not giving you the support, the, the mental support, the conversations that you've been having with this person have not been pleasant, Libra, and you're not okay with that. It's, it's been an uncomfortable couple of weeks, maybe, and I feel like you're... You're stepping away from those conversations moving into March. And I feel like part of what he's had to say about your new endeavor has been a little bit heartbreaking to you. On the Ten of Pentacles with the, the Three of Swords on it, I don't feel like it's been a complete meltdown, breakdown, heartbreak over this situation. Um because the 10 is an ending. So again, what I said, you're, you're moving away from these difficult conversations with this tough person. And it, it could have very well been a job that you left, not abruptly, um, but in the recent past, because you were just tired of dealing with this person on a day-to-day -day basis. I felt like they were in your immediate environment and what, what they had to offer to you in this professional situation just didn't feel good with the Divine Lover's card in reverse. And you kept bumping up against this, this feeling of leaving work. Work is definitely part of this that's coming through very strongly, Libra. That you just wanted it to be different and you knew that it could be different and you're coming out of February you've made some heartfelt decisions that you are not tolerating this type of behavior perhaps uh, verbal abuse on the work front from this person and it was really upsetting for quite some time but I feel like you're 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 getting through that situation, thank goodness. And I want to see, I'm going to flip the March cards over, see what else they have to say. So leaving this situation with the Five of Pentacles, it may feel like in the beginning of March that you're a little hesitant or regretful. There's a part of you that's that it hasn't paid off in a, in a way, like mentally, but you're having to leave perhaps the financial stability that it did give you behind. 
Um, but the I feel like the financial stability that it did give you simply maybe wasn't enough to support yourself with. Um, or the financial stability that this particular profession, career path was giving you, it just, it didn't feel like enough. Or, okay, three things. I think I said the same thing twice because the information is coming in fast. So the abundance that it gave you did give you wasn't worth the price of having to deal with this energy. So let's see what else. Yeah. So with the seven of swords, sorry, six, six of swords in reverse, it's almost like you're just the situation is forcing you out of it. Like you feel like you don't have a choice to move on because it maybe it got that bad, Libra. And there could have been some type of deception like this person was not your friend on the job front and he was definitely a thorn in your side and maybe making up stories about you and bad mouthing you behind your back and, and just creating these scenarios for you in your workplace that were untrue and not and not pleasant that's what's coming through I'm going to clarify these cards yeah, with the chariot, you're dead. So for some of you Libras, and this isn't going to resonate for all of you because it is a general reading. I like to remind people of that. So again, do check out your moon and rising sign if this is your sun sign. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Okay. So here, what I was saying earlier, the chariot moving on from this situation. You are moving on from this situation and it feels necessary. Like there's no way around it, Libra. It's been a long time com coming, like I mentioned, and there are brighter horizons for you in your, in your future. Curious to see what the near future will hold. You've been considering your options and maybe dabbling with different ideas and trying them on for size and and maybe putting the word out that you're looking for a, for a new opportunity, uh, for a new company, for maybe you've been working on your resume and looking online for different opportunities online, Libra. And it doesn't feel like with this, with the seven of cups, like you're quite in particular, absolutely sold on one direction. I feel like there's some confusion here and you feel the pressure to make a choice and make a choice quickly because this source of income that you were relying on, and again, maybe it wasn't enough or it was enough and this situation just became too intolerable to put up with anymore so you're like crap um well now that that chapter's over what next what next libra i feel like for some of you it's the jewels are really standing out here so maybe having to do with interior design, beautifying environments, flower arranging, um, jewelry making, something to do with adorning people, maybe becoming, working in a makeup store, um, creating a YouTube channel about how to do makeup, something to do with beautifying people and the environment might be very attractive to you in March. However, you're not quite clear on how that would pay the bills. And you're, you're not completely, throughout the month of March, assured that uh, of, of the next step. Let's see if we can get some more information down here. To help guide you. So the Page of Swords, the Death card, and the World. 
I'm going to flip clarifiers right away. The King of Pentacles. Okay. Two major arcana cards. Temperance. Okay. Whatever you decide to do, Libra, I'll get to these cards. You're going to have to put some blood, sweat, and tears into this new endeavor. And it's okay. You're going to be honing your skills in a new direction. And I feel like you're you're not going to see how it's going to immediately pay off because it may not immediately pay off, but eventually it will. If you keep at it and keep learning, maybe get yourself into some training programs and follow your nose in the direction of where your interests lie. Um, because with the world card here, she wants to step through a new portal. And I feel like there, the barrier here in order for her to do that, to flip this card around, this is, this is the advice, is to get to work. And maybe it's, it's picking up something that you've already gotten training on and you need to take it to the next level. Um... Because here, I feel like you have studied in the past with the Page of Swords, with his energy upside down on the King of Pentacles. I feel like this past knowledge or direction that you were dabbling in, uh, maybe part-time while you were mostly having to funnel your energy and attention into your full-time job or endeavor or the projects that you work on on a day-to-day -day basis, Libra. I feel like you're going to be picking that up again. And this is going to apply in different circumstances for everybody again. And eventually, I feel like towards the end of March on that second full moon, you're going to come to a realization of like this aha moment that's going to bring you to this energy of, okay, if I work in this way on in this new field that you're excited about, um, he's willingly doing this work. He's not complaining or it's not a drag or, or hampering him in any way. It's, it's just something a little bit that he needs to work at and give his attention to and his passion to, which only helps to propel you more in that direction. So follow your passions, Libra. And through that, through the death experience of the death card, this I consider the transformation card, you are going to be undergoing a transformation. And I feel like throughout March, and once you hit the new moon in the middle of the month, I think it's between the 14th and the 16th, I can't remember. Um, but I feel like it's smack dab in the middle of the month. It's going to be leading you through this, like a, a slow death of who you once were in the outer professional world. And you're going to be toying with maybe a couple of these ideas here that I mentioned, the jewels here and interior design, and maybe gardening, because I see the greenery here, and the castle here for interior design. I don't know, that's going to speak to some of you. Let me know in the comments below if that's screaming out to you. Yes, that's totally what I'm going through. Um, but balancing, I feel like you're going to come to a place, Libra, with this new endeavor, of understanding that you will be able to reach this flow between it providing you with sustenance and you providing it with sustenance. And as you do that, you have enough in your cup to keep pouring them back and forth into one another. And it's self-sustaining. And the little triangle here on the angel's chest um, is speaking to me that Throughout the month of March, you want to be, through this transformation, you want to be focusing on balancing how you focus your energy on your body, mind, and spirit. 
I feel like all three of them, Libra, need attention in the month of March and not more one than the, one than the other. So if you are picking up courses and studying and you're sitting down a lot, you need to make sure that you move your body to in order to balance out that inertia. You want to get the momentum going in your body. And also for your mind, I feel like if you are focusing in a new endeavor and you are studying again or learning a new trade or getting training on the job and you come home, maybe listening to some, some guided meditation, some relaxation tracks online and then your spirit, I want you to also have quiet time as much as you're going out into the world and trying to figure this out to take time for yourself, maybe in nature or take a bath or um, do something that feels calming to you to balance out this energy. And I feel like that's going to healthily get you through this, this transition that you may be experiencing through the month of March and leading into April. So yeah, the messages were coming quickly. Okay. I also want to pull for you a, an Oracle card from the wild Kuan Yin Oracle deck by Alana Fairchilds to see what Kuan Yin has to offer you Libra. Again, thank you for being here. I'm so glad that you found Ananda Tribe. So please join, subscribe, comment, like, share, do all that jazz. Help support my channel grow. And in doing so, I will be able to reciprocate and give you more content. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll put those links below in the description box for you this one. Wow. Number 27, Sisters of the Sacral Spiral. It's very, very red. 27. The higher plan that has been lovingly prepared for you is like a beautiful tapestry coming into view thread by thread. There will be a moment where suddenly the pattern becomes clearly visible, all preparation finally showing itself in effect. The time for acknowledgement and celebration shall happen soon. My weaving hand is steady, sure, and swift, and the threads of your life are rapidly taking shape to reveal my most beautiful divine plans for you. I love it, Libra. Okay, exactly what it's saying. Through the month, you're not, you're, it may feel like there's a little bit of confusion here and you feel like you have to make a quick decision, but trust in this process that you're being guided and divinely led to more of your divine purpose here. You have your angels watching over you and they know exactly the path that's before you. So don't fret and really let yourself relax into this transition, as much as it may feel like this situation coming into March um, felt maybe unnecessary or difficult through this, through this challenge that you're going through professionally and financially, I feel like it's arising for you, Libra a very deep conversation within yourself of what you deserve and your worthiness of receiving abundance in your life. And it's just, it's part of the divine plan for you and what Libras are having to deal with um, this time of year. 